When you have more women in leadership positions, those companies outperform. People in our cabinet, men and women, are extraordinarily high qualified. Women can do the job and can actually improve the situation. So why are women paid less? According to the Global Gender Gap Report, female talent is increasingly underused or untapped. Men's wages are rising faster and further. At the current rate of change, it could be another 217 years before equal pay is a reality. When it comes to economic participation and political empowerment, wide gaps between men and women are partly to blame. Former US President Barack Obama reportedly made a call for more women in power because men seem to be having some problems these days. But when it comes to political empowerment, only Iceland has closed more than 70% of its gap, with Norway and Sweden following closely behind, which may explain the more balanced approach to childcare and generous parental leave practices. In both countries, roughly 90% of fathers take parental leave. Not maternal leave policies, but family leave policies, so that a man and a woman can take time off. Just as at home, there's a need for more balance in the workplace, particularly in STEM-related careers where men dominate. Of course I'm frustrated. Of course I am. Gender parity makes economic sense. In the UK, it would mean adding 250 billion to the GDP, 320 billion in France, 550 billion in Japan, and 2.5 trillion in China. Do we really have to wait two centuries for these windfalls and for meaningful social change?